What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be showing you how to install and create a project with VS Code and Platform.io, as requested by some of subscribers. First, go to the website at visualstudio.com, then click the download button and wait for the download to complete. Once it's downloaded, click on the file to install the software. After completing the installation, open VS Code and let's install some extensions. First, click on the extensions icon. Then install the CC++ extension and install Prettier Code Formatter extension. Next, install the CC++ extension pack. After that, install the Platform.io ID extension to help create firmware for ESP32 boards. To make VS Code look more visually appealing and professional, install two additional extensions. First, Best Themes Redefined. Click Install and choose a theme you like. Second, Material Theme Icons to display icons in your project directory. Choose the icon pack you like. After successfully installing the extensions, restart versus code, and I'll guide you through configuring platform IO. First, click on the platform IO icon and wait a moment for the extension to fully start. Then in the PO home section, choose open. Once you're in the platform IO dashboard, Select the Platform section and then choose Embedded. In the search box, type ESP32, click on Espressive32, and hit Install. Wait for the installation process to complete. After a successful installation, a notification will appear as shown in the video. Check the installed packages in the Installed tab. You can also install additional boards like Raspberry Pi or STM32. In this part, I will proceed to install the driver for the CYD ESP32 board, my ESP board using the CH340 driver. After installation, open Device Manager to check if the ESP32 board is connected. As shown in the video, my ESP32 board is connected on COM3. In the next part, I'll show you how to create a new project. On the Platform.io homepage, select New Project. Choose a project name. I'll name it Blink. Next, select the board you're using. I'm using the ESP32 room, so I'll choose the ESP32 dev module. Select the Arduino framework. Choose a location to save the project. Here, I'll use the default path. Then. Click Finish and wait a moment for the project creation to complete. Once the project is created, you'll see a folder structure similar to the one in the video. The SRC folder will contain your firmware code. In the top right corner of the screen, you'll find buttons for Build, to compile, upload, to upload firmware, and clean. Next to these is the Serial Monitor button, which helps in debugging firmware. You'll also find similar buttons in the bottom left corner of the screen. Next, we will adjust some settings in the platform io.ini file. First, to use the serial monitor, you need to declare the monitor speed, typically set to 115,200. There are two ways to include libraries. Local libraries. Use lib extra dir. With the value lib, simply copy the libraries into the lib folder, and they will be ready for use. Download libraries. Go to the Platform.io dashboard, select the Libraries tab, and in the search bar, find the library you need. For example, here I'm searching for the TFT ESPI library. Select Add to Project and wait for the library to load. The library edition is now complete. Next, I will return to main.cpp to write a basic LED blinking program to upload to the ESP32. I am using GPIO 21 for the LED with a delay of 1 second on, 1 second off. 
After that, I'll proceed to build. Select the COM port, in this case, COM3, and then I'll upload the program. A notification will confirm the successful upload. As you can see, the LED is now blinking according to the program. I have now completed the tutorial on setting up VS Code and Platform IO to create and upload firmware for embedded projects, specifically for the ESP32. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. If you found the video helpful, please leave a like, share, and don't forget subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.